I'm Eric, the founder of Squat Wedgies, and today I have for you a 10 minute full body body weight workout, and all you need is a wedgie. So let's get started. You're going to be working out for 45 seconds, followed by a 15 second break. In that 15 seconds, you'll see the exercise in that top hand corner, like you're seeing right now. And we're starting in three, two, and one with a nice glute bridge hold. And that opposite leg, we're working some hip flexor raises. We're warming up the glutes right now, and I'm working the hip flexor on the right side. Awesome exercise here. Get those hips and knees feeling good. Inhale in and exhale. We're gonna be going 45 seconds on that left leg, 45 on the right. Make sure we're not arching our lower back too much. So. Think about tucking the hips, keeping that glute and hamstring on, reaching along with that <laughs> reaching along with that right leg. I can't speak this morning. <sighs> I just got done with the CrossFit workout, so this is the perfect thing to help me recover from that because whew, it was a lot of deadlifts. It was good. It was challenging, but definitely a lot of deadlifts. So I'm happy to be doing some good hip stuff right now. Three seconds. Got ahead of myself there. Wanted to jump right in. Bridge it up. Ooh, butterfly. Reach out the left. Pull it in. Think about keeping these hips level too. You got two shots of espresso or two shots of tequila. Depends what your vice is. Or maybe it's just two shots of juice. We don't want to be spilling it over like that. So keep these hips nice and square. Reach along with that left. Right glute. Make sure it's on. Should be nice and tight. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale. Don't forget to breathe. That is by far the most important thing is breathing. Good work, good work. Glute should be burning. Hip flexor should be burning. All right, good work there. Next up now, we're going to some dead bugs. So you can put this in front of you. What I like to do when I'm doing my dead bugs is I'll kind of use that as my marker so I know where my foot should touch. Arms are here, exhale out. <sighs> Giving the hip flexors a little bit more love. But since the hip flexors are a little bit pre-fatigued, now we're gonna get a little bit more abs out of it. So sometimes I like doing that's a nice pre-fatigue action. <sighs> Just like that. Inhale in, exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Thinking about breathing into that lower back, breathing into the abs, breathing into the sides. Oh, messed up there. Oh, messed up. Let me get back on track here. Sometimes it's hard to talk and exercise and give cues at the same time. A couple more reps. All right, let's flip it over now. Let's warm up that lower back here. Move the wedgie to the side, arch body hold. So we're going for 45 seconds here. Arms out here, thumbs up. Think feet together. Lift the legs in the back. Upper body, look straight ahead. And just breathe for 45 seconds. If that's too challenging, you can always drop down, take a break. But what I want you to think about here is don't just bend the knees like this. Actually try to lift the thighs off the ground, squeeze the glutes. It shouldn't be all lower back. But if that lower back starts to fatigue, just lower on down. You guys just drop the feet down, keep the upper body up, just like that. That is fine as well. Breathing, breathing. It's the most important thing to tell all my clients. Breathe. Breathe into that chest there. Five seconds left. Inhale. And exhale. All right, beautiful. Side plank action now. So we're on a side plank. Going left side first. There's two levels to this. You can do it on your knees, reach through, rotate up. That's level one. And then of course, level two is straight legs like you've seen in the video here. Follow it with the eyes. It's great to get some neck rotations. Great work, 30 seconds in. Obliques here, hips. 
Nice upper back rotation, opening it up. Four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. I love that move. That's one of my favorites for sure. I use that all the time with my clients in the warm ups just because it warms up the obliques, gets the hips, gets the upper back. And this workout in particular, and here we go, other side, inhale. This can be used as a warm up, it can be used as a recovery day, you know, go through it a couple times, or it can be a workout for you. Let's face it, the number one excuse for working out is a lack of time. Well, guess what? This is only 10 minutes. It's your body weight and a wedgie, and that's it. So no excuses, no more excuses. Just hit play, get started, and keep up with me. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. <sighs> there we go, five seconds, let's work, let's work. There we go, good work, keep pushing. Three, oh, a little behind there. My apologies, great work all right shake it out Got a little downward dog toe touches great exercise here for the shoulders a little core mobility good rock back reach towards the opposite toe don't shrink push long there we go Halfway. Good work, good work. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, beautiful. All right, grab your wedgie now. We're putting our feet on top of it. Some nice wedgie bear squats man these are awesome whenever i teach classes at fit expos i love giving these people because it surprises them how effective so knees under hips rock back forward exhale as you go forward inhale exhale keep the knees nice and close to the ground that's what's going to work those quads the most if you feel too tight you can always adjust walk forward a little bit you gotta find what's comfortable for you. Start to light up those quads a little bit. I definitely feel it. Three, two, and one. Woo! Super nice there. Now, we got push-ups now, so you can put your wedgie to the side. Traditional push-ups with a twist. We're lowering down, and get to that bottom position. Reach up, push up. Big long reach, down slow. Reach, push up. Three, two, one, lower. Reach, if you can stay on the ground the whole time. The key, train the mat is, don't come up like that, all right? One straight line, shoulder to heels. All the way down. Push. Nice work. Those shoulders are burning. Especially after doing that little bear hold. Good work. 10 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Can always do knee push ups like that. That's an option too if you get tired. Don't stop though. Keep working. All right. Last one. Boop. There we go. Beautiful work. Uh, we're moving on to a squat hold. Two moves left, 10 minutes. It goes so fast. Here we go. 90 degrees, pop. And we're just hanging out, 45 seconds. You do know anything you want in your real arms. You wanna challenge yourself. You go here, make it even harder. Go here, you go here as well. So kind of push your center of mass back more. But I just want you at 90 degrees. I don't want you just hanging out here at the bottom of the squat. This isn't active. This is active at 90 degree level. You keep going. Show you from the side here so you can see the difference. I'm right here. 90, not here, 
right here, right? And I'm also not here with my hips back, tall chest. That's why you reach your arms out in front of you. Kind of doesn't allow you to cheat. Get that nice space in the upper back. Breathe into it. I'll go an extra five seconds because I know at home you're saying, he took a five second break. Oh, there we go. Last move. Last move of the day. Nice toes elevated position here. Working some ankle mobility. Toes elevated, step back, reverse lunge, step forward. Big lunge back. I like to get that shin behind the knee. It's because we really never get to this position with that shin behind the knee, especially if you're using a wedgie. We're always in that knees over toes position. So I like to reverse it a little bit. Big lunge, stand up nice and tall. Working on balance here as well. Good work, good work. There we go. Beautiful. 10 seconds, 10 minutes, that's all it took, right? Feel better now. Got your workout in, you got movement in. The joints like you a little bit more. Last rep just for fun. And there you have it. 10 minute workout. Maybe it was 11 minutes. Maybe we went over by a minute, but we got everything in we need to get in. So thank you for showing up. And please share this with a friend, a family member. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video, of course. Comment below. And again, thank you so much for letting me give you a wedgie. Until next time, have a great day.